Hello guys, what's going on? I'm back to YouTube. I haven't uploaded in about a month. It's my chair, sorry. Um, but I decided to come back. I don't know if this mic works. Hello, testing, testing. Sorry if it doesn't. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing a football podcast for uh for new, like you know, football pet podcast. That's uh kind of the tempo I'm looking for today. I'm doing predictions for each team. Let me know in the comments what your predictions are. If you think mine are right or wrong, hit that like button. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want me to do this for week 15, 16, and 17, and maybe playoffs. I don't know. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, let's just go straight into it. Okay. So, um, one thing that, that I actually realized was some of these, I'm going to put that to the side for now. Now, some of these games are uh, actually uh, kind of, you know, <laughs> juicy, you know? I think that some of these games uh, deserve to be a fair game, you know? And a lot of these games, we're getting near playoffs. I, I, a lot of these games matter for playoff bracket rights. And I'm not, this is only Sunday. I'm not doing Monday. I'll do Monday tomorrow if you guys want me to. This video gets five likes today. I'll do it tomorrow, so sure to hit that like button. So, for the first game, a one o'clocker, there are two teams. They're both four and eight. This is, this really doesn't have any bragging rights just because you ruined your season. And I got the Christian McCaffrey jersey. Uh, not jersey, just shirt. Guess who it is? Panthers versus Broncos. So, I think this is going to be a good game. But hear me out. Both of these teams have kind of ruined their playoffs, right? I like Matt Rule when he came in. I liked how he changed the roster and algorithm of the team. I think this is their rebuild season, you know? McCaffrey's out. He's going to come back next week. I think they have a good shot at playoffs next year. You're going to need to actually lose this game if you want a good draft pick. Now, the Broncos, hear me out. They are, I think, a way, I don't think playoffs are for them. Even if they could, I don't think they're, like, I don't think they can. I know Panthers are, are not, like, they can't, they're not allowed to. So, th this is a tough one because um, Christian McCaffrey is not playing. They announced it. I'm very sad because I have him in fantasy. Um, but, yeah, I, I I do think, I do, I do I, I want to go Panthers. I want to go right. But the reason... And if I say, like, the first uh, team first, like, that's left and right. Like, I want to go left. J just so you guys know. Uh, I want to go right. I, I really do. But then again, uh, the Denver Broncos are, like... They're, they are a good team. And I think what they need to realize was... What really put them... Uh, like, kind of took away their season, took away their bragging rights, stuff like that, was um, with Cortland Sutton. I feel so bad for him because first, literally the first week or second week, third week, he got injured. And I don't think that it's fair for the players to get injured, but they commit to that. So, uh, for today, I am going Broncos. Don't hate on me. So, I'm going to give that a win to the Broncos, a loss to the Panthers. So that makes the Panthers four and nine and the Broncos five and eight. Now another game. It's not a divisional game, but it's a big game for both teams. The Giants. Looking looking pretty good for this for this for the second half of this season, you know? Beat the Seahawks. Got a good chance at the playoffs now. Cardinals, six and six. They ruined their season. In one game or two games, you know, uh, Kenyon Drake was a little banged up. Uh, Daniel Jones obviously was a little banged up. I think Wayne Gallman is the one guy that I'm looking in. I think Gallman has a a great game and a, a great a great game. And I think I'm going with the Giants. I, and I do because this kind of ruins Cardinals season. But I'm going to go with the Giants because I'm going to go right. Um, I'm going to go with the Giants because I think that they have more talent right now. I think Daniel Jones could be 
a franchise quarterback if he keeps this up. He looks great. He feels great. He runs great. He's a great quarterback, in my opinion, for the second half of the season. So I'm going to go Giants. So that will make the Cardinals 6-7. and seven. Basically takes away their playoff right. And Giants, 6-7. and seven. Next team, Chiefs and Dolphins. This almost particularly gives the Dolphins season uh, a small hit down, a small go down if they lose this. They need they need to win this game for playoffs, but do I think they are going to? You had Tua had was banged up on his knee, I think. He was out for a couple weeks. That kind of ruined you, even though Fitzpatrick got the win, but it was the Jets. I I and don't hate on me. I, I'm not saying Chiefs are bad. Patrick Patrick Mahomes, I don't know if you can hear me in this, is one of the best quarterbacks like, he's so good. And and there's nothing that would change my mind, even if he got injured. He will, if he keeps this up, he's going to make Hall of Fame. He's going to be one of the best quarterbacks of all time. He's going to win more Super Bowls, I can assure you that. And he's just going to he's just gonna go places. So, for that reason, I, I'm sorry, Dolphins fans. I'm giving it left Chiefs. So, that will make the Chiefs 12-1 and and the Dolphins... Eight and five, which almost takes their playoffs away. So this one are two very. Um. Okay. Okay. It's the Cowboys and the Chargers. Wait, no. Sorry, Chargers and Char Cowboys and Bengals. These two teams. They're two. These two teams' seasons got ruined because of their quarterbacks. I feel bad, for, more bad for the Cowboys. They still have more wins, and Joe Burrow got injured uh, maybe three weeks ago. They've missed Dak Prescott for the whole, almost the whole season. He got injured f week four. Um, and I and I think they've played great with a backup Andy Dalton and a Ben DiNucci and a Garrett Gilbert. Uh, in inside. I, I think they played great. I think they played great for the team that they've been. I think they played great with a bad coach. I think M Mike McCarthy should be fired. I think th that's one of the things that um, puts this team on ice. I also... Um, Cowboys... Okay. Cowboys are not out of the playoffs, but they like they, they don't have a good chance because this, this division is kind of like... Hipping up the Washington and Giants are two good teams. They've been doing good for the second half, but whoever gets more wins is going to make it. I I don't I don't believe that both teams are going to make it unless it's a very bad uh, NFC uh, conference. So um, I'm actually I'm actually going to go Cowboys because I think they have talent and I think uh, you have to give them a chance. They almost like they were doing good against the Ravens in the first half. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Cowboys. I will make them four and nine, and the uh, Bengals two ten and one. So that's a loss there and a win for the Cowboys. One left. So Texans and Bears two very um, hard understanding teams that at least for me I thought was gonna be great teams. Uh, ba Bears. Let's let's just kind of talk about how that that Atlanta game, right? The Atlanta game, Nick Foles played out of his mind, out of, amazing in the uh, fourth quarter. Sorry, I'll try and move this in. He played out of his mind. He played magnificent. But but if they haven't put, if they did not put Mitch Trubisky out, like if they didn't bench him. Where would they be at now? They would have lost that game. They've they would only be five and two at that point, I think. So four and two. So here's my point. If they kept him in, would they be a better record? Could they even possibly have a chance at the playoffs? And that's what I think you that's what we look at a lot. I don't think they would have had playoffs. I think Mitch Trubisky's a, a, a he, he he did good this season, but I think it was more the uh, defense and running back uh, 
representative David Montgomery has a great season. Um, I you know I do want to go I do want to go right with them though. They haven't got a win since I think they they just have been very bad. But the Texans, um, let's compare this because okay, Mr. Trubisky gets the start. He I believe is at home. I I for I I think he's at home. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And Deshaun Watson. I'm going to go to Deshaun Watson. No, no, uh, no ass. N like, no, nothing asked for that, um, representative. Um, I, I want to go right, but I don't think I can. And from what I mean by that, I don't think I can go right to the Bears. Because they've had some trouble this season. Matt Nagy has had lots of trouble. He's on the hot seat now after this week. He could be potentially fired even. Which I think he's a good coach. Not a lot of people agree with me. I'm going to go Texans. So I will make the Texans 5-8. and eight. And the Bears 5-8. and eight. Okay. Titans and Jags. This is actually an interesting one. Now, a lot of people would just say Titans because Jags are um, tanking, right? They're 1-11. and 11. But, but Mike Glennon, you know, the last two games with Mike Glennon, they went into overtime. And the only reason they lost was from two-point conversions, I, I believe so. And what I'm trying to say, or sorry, no, no, no. The first start of Mike Lennon, they didn't get the two-point conversion. What I'm trying to say, James Robinson is going to be a Hall of Famer running back future if he keeps this up. And I also do believe that Mike Lennon has a good spirit in his football career. And he's underrated. But I don't think he's their franchise quarterback at all. He's 28. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to go Jags. I'm, I'm going to go Jags. And I and I and I can't believe I'm saying that because the Jags have one win this season and they have just don't get me wrong, they are terrible. And I mean terrible. But I'm gonna go Jags. Because the Jags are a good team besides their quarterback. I think like good wide receiver core, young good wide receiver core. One of the best rookie running backs in this draft class. I th I no one agrees with me here. He should be on race for rookie of the year, and, and I and I don't want to hear it because because he he's performed formed like that. I'm gonna go Jags. I think James Robinson has a great game. I think James Robinson has even two touchdowns. His first two touchdown game besides the reception rushing against the Chargers. I'm gonna go Jags. So that's a win for them. Two and eleven, and eight and four for the Titans. Eight and five. So we and Vikings and Bucks. Hear me out. This is the Vikings' last game of the season for playoffs. They don't win this. They have to win it, and they do not get another chance if they don't win this. Cause, cause I'm not giving them another chance, you know. And when I say I'm, they don't get another chance if they don't win this game. They've they've looked great. I, I I saw something about Dalvin Cook like um suspended for like drugs or like not not failing the drug test. I don't know if that's true. I'm assuming it's not because fantasy hasn't said anything about it. But you know, you got so much talent in Adam Thielen. I, I'd even say Kirk Cousins has been performing like a top fifteen quarterback. Um I, I think and this kind of ruins the Bucks season too. Because when you think about it, kind of, kind of. Because they're going to turn 7-6. and six. It kind of does, but they have to like win every single game after that. I'm going to say Vikings. That's a win for the Vikings. 7-6, and six, loss for the Bucks. 7-6. and six. Okay. 4 o'clock games now. And 8 o'clock games for the Steelers and Bills, which is going to be a good game. So... Colts and Raiders. It both kind of decides their playoff spot and where they're going to be at. I think that 
the Raiders need the Dolphins to lose. They need the Dolphins to lose, which probably will happen because of the Chiefs. Um, But I don't think that... I think Colts... Uh, I'm going to go right. I'm going to go Raiders. Um, I think they go 8-5 and five and Colts go 8-5. and five. So, Jets v. Seattle. <laughs> I do Wait a minute. I don't think we can say one good thing about this Jets uh, team. And I've been getting lots of... Lots of things on TikTok and Safari and just many things. The Jets, if they get first-round pick, they're going to go with Justin Fields. I don't believe that. I do not believe that one moment. I think Trevor Lawrence is a much better experienced football player. And I think Justin Fields is just as good. But I think he goes the Jags if the Jags get the second pick. If the, it's a whole different thing if Jags get first pick. They will take Justin Fields 100%. Mark my words. I, I think Jets go with Trevor Lawrence, though. Um, but, but, um, Seattle can lose on any given Sunday. They're not a dominant team like that where they win every game. So I'm going to go with the Jets. First win, Jets, you rock. 1-12. And, <laughs> and the Seattle kind of takes their, um, playoffs away, right? Uh, wait, what division are they in? Oh, wait, why do I forget this? Not in the Saints division. They Oh, yeah, they're with the um, Cardinals. So the, I think they actually do have a good uh, chance because if Cardinals lose, they're 6-7. And, uh, and then the Rams are 9-4. and four. So, I think they are going to be the second team because Rams are actually really good. I think they could be another Super Bowl team this year. So, I'm going to say uh, that's a loss for Seattle, 8-5. and five. Falcons v. Chargers. Chargers. Okay, you have to give this team credit, though. You have to... I don't think you, you can give credit to Anthony Lynn. Um, or Matt Quinn. Or Dan Quinn. Because they both ha have done a terrible job, in my opinion. But these two teams, they ruined their season just off of one-score games. They could have made the playoffs. They could have been a great team. Um, The Chargers look great with Keenan Allen and Justin Herbert. And I'm not just saying them because I have on on my fantasy team. They look great. Like, they, they look so good. And that's not just me because I, I know for a fact that's not just me. They look so good. So yeah, I'm I they look so good. That's all I'm saying. Uh Falcons, Chargers. Both teams lose from one like they always like get upsetted. They're supposed to win at halftime, but then So like are is it gonna like tie? Okay, I'm gonna say tie. <laughs> I I you know, I've always honestly had it with these two teams. Not Justin Herbert and uh Julio Jones. But I've honestly had it with these two teams. I'm going to say a tie. Uh, Packers and Lions. Packers. Why do you have to be so good? Why, why do you have to be so good to my team, the Steelers? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a Steelers fan. I, I, think, I think the Packers at least... I think they have a better quarterback this year. And I hate to say it because Steelers are eleven and one, but I, I will admit they've played bad teams. But they are still good, and no one can deny that. So Packers v Lions nine and three, five and seven. I'm gonna go um, an upset. Ooh, Lions, yeah. Uh, no, no, I already knew that I was gonna go with upset. Um, I I just think upset because. Uh, the Lions get Swift back. I think Swift's going to have an amazing game, like 30-plus fantasy points. Even possibly three touchdowns. I, I think it's going to be Lions in this one. Six and seven. Nine and four. So, Saints v. Eagles. Saints have already, uh, 
hundred percent. I think they're the first team to qualify their playoff spot. I, I, the Steelers. I'm pretty sure qualified, but no one's saying that. Um, they're versing a three eight and one Eagles. The Eagles went from one game they uh, secured the playoffs in that division. They lost it. Now they're probably not going to make it. Carson Wentz is terrible. Jalen Hurts, I think, is the franchise quarterback. Uh, I'm sorry, Carson Wentz. You're benched. Um, Saints, is only, Saints have only lost two times this season. They're a great team. I, I just can't say Saints are going to lose. Saints, 11-2, 3-9-1. Washington v 49 Washington have actually performed very good. They even beat my hometown, the Steelers. Um, I'm going to say Washington. That's that's all, yeah. Uh, win for Washington, loss for 49ers. 6-7 six for the Washington Redskins. And 5-8 and eight for 49ers. Okay. Last game of the Sunday football crew. It's the Bills. And the Steelers, and you're gonna hate me for this, but I say Steelers, because the Steelers, and a lot of you said this, this is like the one of the only best teams they've, this is like one of the only good teams they played. I think that we're gonna prove to you that we're a good team. Um, I think that our defense is gonna pop off. I think Big Ben is a better quarterback than people give him credit for. I'm gonna say Steelers, 12-1, and one, Bills, 9-4. and four. Um... Make sure to comment below on what you think of my rankings. Um, and I'll do one tomorrow if this gets five likes by 1030 at night. So, yes, thank you so much for watching my video. It's AJ. Thank you for the support. 90 subs special. Peace.